glory be to the most high God in Jesus' name. Okay. So, brothers and sisters, right? I want you to think about those people in our lives that have made sacrifices for us in order to be better men and women than we were yesterday so we get to be better men and women today. As I sit here and I read my scripture and I think about the direction that my life's going in, a lot of people will say, like, Donny, my man's done out here. Yeah, he's done out here. Uh, Donny's in jail. He's got a lot of pressure going on. There's, there's, there's 101 things going on. But you know what? It was the Apostle Paul, if anybody knows, who wrote 23% of the Bible from jail. Yeah, he was in bondage. He was in chains. Yeah, he was being persecuted. He was being beaten. Imagine that. Yeah, the goons were coming for him. Rocking him off, you know what I mean? Donnie was in jail, but he still had that love for Christ. He still had that love to build the church. It says, For a tree bringeth not forth corrupt fruit, neither does a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For of thorns men do not gather figs, nor of a branch bush. Gather their grapes. A man out of good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. So anything that is based on scripture, doctrine, the word of Christ, it's got to be good. Because there's no lies in it. So now God said... That Jesus is going to be the cornerstone. And it's that cornerstone that we have builded this church on. Jesus said to Peter, you know, on this rock, I'm going to build my church. You understand what I'm saying? So as I sit here in my cell, and I think about the direction that I'm going in, I feel like I'm in a relay race. That's how I honestly feel. And I feel like those mentors who have taught me in the various places that I've been in, and I say thank you to every single one of them. But those individuals that have taught me, I feel like I'm in a relay race now. And they've passed on the baton to me. And now it's my time to be running this race, to be spreading this message. And I hope that my words get to encourage every brother and sister out there for their race. Because we are standing on the shoulders of giants. And we are in spiritual warfare. Yeah. And we are going to go through trials and we are going to go through tribulations. But I'm telling you this, if Jesus went through it, he was persecuted, yeah, he was hated, he was scorned, yeah. But he didn't cost, you know, he didn't get mad. He didn't say, you know, I fuck him, I'm really cared. He went, he went, I'm none of that, yeah. He went phoning up the man, them trying to get tools. You know, he was humble and he left it to the Lord. And the apostles, yeah, they were on crud, you know. They were on the bad man thing, they were living clean, and when they got persecuted and they got beaten and they, and they got ridiculed, like they rejoiced in it because they knew they were, they, they, they were being persecuted for honouring and worshipping and preaching the name of Christ. And my brothers and sisters, yeah, think about those that have been in your life, whether it's your mums, your dads, your granddads, your aunties, your sisters. Think about those. It could be your partners, those. It could be your step-parents. It could be anybody. Those individuals that have been in your life, that have made sacrifices, selfless sacrifices, for you to be better individuals than you were yesterday. So you get to be better brothers and sisters today. Yeah? So they say, glory be to the most high God in Jesus' name. And we can say thank you to those that have mentored us. And I say thank you to those that have mentored me. Yeah? Those that have helped me with books. Those that have helped me with my, my education. Those that have helped me when I've, you know, gone to lose my head and things are not working out for me and myself. Or I've had, you know, some form of disappointment and you've come to me to help me to say, you know what? Ish, think about what you're doing. You know? So I say thank
thank you to every single one of you. Yeah. Glory be to the Most High God in Jesus' name. Stay locked in, stay tuned, and keep spreading the message. Remember, remember, this is your race. This is your time. We're not going to get a second chance to live this life. Yeah, we're not going to get a second chance to make things right. So if you're hearing this and you know you've got a situation with your brother, your sister, or your mate, or whatever it may be, and you can reconcile and you can and you can make it right, then make it right because God says that before you leave the gift at the altar, if you know you've got a past with your people, then reconcile with them and then come back to me. So, you know, today is a day. It's a great day. God's enabled us to wake up. He's, he's, he's enabled us to be alive. He's enabled us to have a little bit of food. So, you know, give praise, give thanks to the most high God in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Amen.